Hello, in this GenRocket Solutions video, we're going to specifically show how you can synergistically automate your functional testing challenges using Jenkins, Selenium, and GenRocket. With Jenkins, you can define when to launch a mechanism, where to launch a mechanism, and how to launch a mechanism. With Selenium, you can execute test actions within a web browser, and with GenRocket, you can run test plans, generate zero-touch real-time test data, and call Selenium methods to perform functional tests. Let's take a look at a simple sequence diagram to see how these three components work together. Oh, hold on. This is not as complicated as it looks. Let me explain. In Jenkins, we create a job to open a shell and run GenRocket, which loads a test plan, a scenario, then executes the test plan. Iterating through the test plan, it reads a step, generates test data when necessary, then calls a Selenium method to perform a functional test within a web browser. Now, GenRocket has on its own platform the ability to create test plans and run its own black box tests. But you can also use GenRocket with your own Selenium black box solutions to generate zero-touch real-time test data. Okay, let's show a few GenRocket black box tests being automated through Jenkins. But first, we want to show that we've created specific subdirectories where GenRocket can find test plans that execute functional tests and scenarios for generating zero-touch real-time test data. When we log into Jenkins, we'll go to the job that we created to automate our black box testing. From there, we'll go to the configuration page and scroll to the section called Execute Shell. Here, we've entered a command to open a bash shell to run GenRocket for test plans within a given directory and turn on logging. Yep, that's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, let's kick off a Jenkins build that will open a bash shell and run GenRocket to execute test plans within a given directory. We'll click into a Jenkins console so that we can see the logging of the test plans being executed. In a true CI-CD pipeline, Jenkins would normally run this job from a triggered event such as a background build process. Now that the job is complete, we can open a command line terminal and go to the directory where GenRocket created and stored a report for the set of functional tests that it executed. Here's where you get to see the true value of having a fully automated CI-CD pipeline with zero-touch real-time test data. When code is implemented or existing code is modified and pushed to a build, bugs can be detected and eliminated before they reach your production environment. In summary, by combining Jenkins for your CI-CD pipeline with Selenium for functional testing and GenRocket for zero-touch real-time test data, you can achieve true test automation synergy. Thank you for watching this GenRocket's solutions video.